Costa Brava has earned its spot on the world map and we are about to find out why. Join us as we explore this beautiful region in our tiny van. <laughs> exploring the beautiful town of Cadaqués. So the town of Cadaqués is at the very top of Costa Brava and a fun fact is that poets and artists used to come here for inspiration and it has this like Mediterranean look with the white houses, the blue doors and the colorful flowers. It's really beautiful. Another thing is that it's very hilly. <laughs> so it's definitely a workout while you're visiting the town. This has to be the tallest cactus I've ever seen. It's so sweet. <laughs> if you're coming to Cadaqués, we highly recommend parking in one of the car parks that are on the other side of the town so as soon as you come into the town there's a car park that is like almost 26 euro uh, <laughs> but if you keep going there's four free car parks this is p1 this is parking one so 26 yeah. euro is the french price <laughs> <laughs> our next stop is a free camper van area in the region of la scala and i just want to also add this is annie's first time emptying the toilet what's your first time well it was second <laughs> I'm gonna say first. No, in a studio last year I didn't want. Oh, the bad one I can count. The bad one you can count. <laughs> we have stopped here in Paz on our way to Satuna, and this is like a tiny, like medieval town. It's lovely. Um, it's part of Costa Brava, so Costa Brava is not just beaches and um, blue water. It also has small medieval towns that are really worth a visit. This is how the locals got around before Google Maps, eh? So this is a tower that used to defend the town and it's open like on this side for two reasons. One, if it needs repaired, it's easy to access. And the second one, and I find this really clever, is that if the enemy gets into the town, it can't be used against them. So like the enemy can't go into the tower and attack the ones in the town because it's opened. So like they were so clever. So we have just left Paz and now we are making our way to Satuna and it looks like we are escaping this massive storm that is coming because behind us is so grey <laughs> and heading towards the coast there's blue skies and sun so Fingers crossed it stays like that <laughs> Although we're only 10 kilometers away but hopefully Storm <laughs> made it to the coast There's a bit of wind and Annie is ready to rock <laughs> what are you like? <laughs> I don't know, I just found your glasses. So right now we are in the beautiful town of Satuna and it's such a little typical town from Costa Brava with the white houses and the stunning blue water surrounded by mountains. Actually in the mountains there are all these little walks that you can go on and the views from there are absolutely amazing and you can see the water from here and it's too tempting so we are going to go down and snorkel. Because there is a drought currently in Spain and our van doesn't have a shower, this is what we have to do to get the salt off us. It's 
This town is full of mosquitoes. They're all over our legs. So like bust the ground in general. Last year it was the exact same. Our legs are swollen and hot. Woo. You just go for a walk and you're destroyed. We need to carry the flex steel with us. So this is our park up. It's literally a couple of hundred meters from the beach and it's perfect for a van like ours because we are just like a car, we just fit anywhere, but a bigger camper van wouldn't fit here. Although there's a bigger camper van parked right there, so maybe in that street if you come over, maybe that's an option, but just bear in mind that in this car park you're not gonna fit if you have a bigger van. I can only imagine what it would be like to live in this place. This is unbelievable. And the good thing about it is completely free for us because of the van. If you were to stay here and rent an Airbnb, God knows what price it is. So that is the beauty of van life. Everything is completely free. There is mosquitoes everywhere, but what a way to start your Tuesday morning here in Costa Brava in this beautiful town of Satuna. And the sun, whew, the mosquitoes, the sun is just rising behind me. But I really need to get back to the van. The mosquitoes are insane. So, back to Annie. Now, the question is, is Annie awake or do I have to wake her up? So how was your swim? Very good. Yeah? The water was lovely. Oh yeah? yeah. yeah it looks it. <sighs> Something that is really nice about this town is that there's walks on either side of it so you not only can enjoy this town but you can actually walk to other beaches that are nearby. So that means that you don't have to move your camper van and you don't lose your spot because it can get really really busy. I don't know how well it shows up on camera but this water is crystal clear. There is thousands and thousands of fish. I don't know if you can see them. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we need to get in. That there is absolutely unbelievable. There's so many fish. So nice to do van life here in Costa Brava. Ten times better than France. What do you think of that? I loved it. Costa Brava. If you come to Costa Brava, make sure you bring a snorkel because the water is crystal clear, it's not cold, and there's so many fish. So many fish. Yeah. Ranting. Time to leave this place. No. <laughs> What a time to ask. Yes, I do. And just like that, five minutes later, we are here in Bogor. So now it's time to go and explore Bogor. So here's where we parked. And up there is the castle. Let's go. The walk to the castle, it's not easy. It's a constant uphill from where we left the van. And then when you get to the last bit, you see there's a car park there. And we could have parked there instead of walking all this. So if you come to Bogor, if you come early, I'd say you can park at the bottom of the castle. <laughs> <laughs> made it, made it to the top, and the views from here are incredible. All the way down there is Little Fergus, so we can see it from up here, and that's the hill that we had to go up. The views from the top of this castle are stunning, you get a 360 view around you, you can see the sea, you can see the mountains, but here is a tip, if you can make it here for sunset, uh, you'll get an amazing light because last year we came here for sunset without knowing that it was a good idea and we were greeted to an amazing sunset.
What's next? The van. I'm trying to find the car park. <laughs> We've lost Fergus. We found the van, made it all the way down, and now it's time to hit our next destination. So we have just made it to one of the most beautiful places in Costa Brava and very few people know about it and it's... Littles! <laughs> this is not the most exciting part of van life but it has to be done. So let's stock up in food and then head to Tamariu which is van life heaven in Costa Brava. So the shopping is done, it came to like 65 euro and that will do us for the next week. So now it's time to drive to Tamariu and enjoy our favorite place in Mendaya Costa Brava. How does it feel being back in your famous Tamariu? I love it. I, it's weird, like I just love it so much I can't believe I'm back <laughs> a year later. When we were here almost a year to the day, Fergus didn't look like he looks right now. Fergus no. was in a little wash off. He was smashed to bits, but we still continued on through Costa Brava and the Pyrenees. And I had a sore neck as well, and a sore shoulder. And we were using a 5 litre water bottle as a bumper. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> For the breakfast. This, this is, is not a tradition. tradition. This is a tradition. <laughs> On Annie's birthday, I give her scrambled eggs and toast. Her, fa <laughs> her favorite meal. Last year we were in the Pyrenees and this year we're in Costa Brava. Thank you. Okay. Dos y tres. And Shane's favorite diving board, where hopefully this time he doesn't better flop in front of everybody. Because there's a conviction. <laughs> Here she goes. Ah, I'm going to We have made it to Gefrank and this place was actually recommended to us by one of you guys so thank you Ralph for leaving a comment in our previous video recommending Gefrank because it's really beautiful so if you want to be featured in our next video make sure to leave a comment in this video and we'll be picking our favorite comment So Shane is away to explore new waters <laughs> Getting in the sea in Costa Brava is not the most glamorous thing. <laughs> this is Google Maps once again. You want a bit of a palm tree? <laughs> We are making our way to one of the most secluded beaches in Costa Brava and it's Cala Salguer and to get to it we have parked here at Playa de Castel. You have to go through this narrow path along the coast which has beautiful views so let's go. So we have to go under this barrier, so just to make sure, yeah, keep going, good. yeah, good, good, keep going, keep going, loads, yeah, you're, you're fine, aha, go Fergus. <laughs> we are currently filling up with diesel and we have found it for 153, which is 35 cents cheaper than the cheapest diesel we find in France. Typically France was like 2 euro, 2.10, so it's like over 50 cents cheaper 
than normal days in France. We have made it to the last stop of today, which is the beautiful little town of Calella de Palafrugel. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> okay, so we couldn't find that proper cake, so we find this kind of spongy, spongy looking sort of cake. We have no candles, so we have to use a big candle like this. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay, I'm terrible at singing. In uh, Spanish. Compleaños feliz. Thank you. Compleaños. Or I can do Basque. Oh. Soriona. An Irish? <laughs> Lo bret, lo honedish. I'm just a man of many languages. <laughs> French, I don't know. So, time to blow out your candle. Okay. And don't forget to make a wish. Yeah. Um. yeah. Now give me some of that cake. <laughs> it's mine. Happy 26th birthday. So it's easy to see why Costa Brava is a top world destination and one of our favorite places to do van life. See you in the next one! Like and subscribe! <laughs>